The E100 full is a tier 10 German heavy tank that shows just how defiant Germans are with regards to slope turrets. We're at tier 10 and they still don't get it. This tank is most commonly driven by shitlord noobs who've just got the game and finished failing in the Tiger and Tiger 2. You'd think the previous tanks would teach the driver how to angle but when the driver angled their Tiger tank it got penned anyway so they said fuck it and bitched about it on the forums despite numerous buffs. This is what you do. You put gun rammer, vertical stabilizer, and gun laying drive. Or spool liner for anti-RT extremists. Don't be a tryhard twat and load full heat. It is not necessary what the fuck up. HE is also effective. You should load a few. What the fuck is wrong with- You load AP4 helpless tier 8s, and heat 4 OP heavies, and HE cause yo low. The E1 hump dead fail has decent mobility for its armor. But the engine is still weak for its weight. Spend the time driving to the enemy thinking about how much gold they will spam at you. The E Herp Derp full has the biggest gun of any of the tier 10 heavies, but also the lowest penetration. Most cheeky shits think this is a frontline brawler. They are on. This is not a mouse, this tank is not impenetrable. You spend your time baiting shots with your super well angled armor and blasting them for half their health. You do not DPM the enemy, you trade shots. The easiest place to penetrate an E Wonderful is its flat turret with premium rounds. Even angled it can still be penetrated by stupid OP heat rounds. If some cheeky tryhard queer spams gold at you, you do the same to him. If some fancy auto loading nerd gets around you, you fuck him up. If enemies expose their side armor to you, you take advantage of their stupidity at high tiers. The E50x2 has a long aim time and accuracy that makes stormtroopers look good. The E75 on steroids cannot withstand being outflanked. It is too slow to react. If you find yourself surrounded, your pullout game needs to be stronger than Ron Jeremy's. Get out of there and put yourself where you can face one at a time. And remember, your lower plate is strong up close, so face hugging isn't a bad idea. And remember, artillery will be all over your anus, especially if you have good statistics. A hot knife through butter. Well the E25x4 is a dull spoon that uses brute force to blast away shit stains. And don't forget to use your high explosive rounds to balance broken tanks like the Waffle E100. When you're an E100, anything's possible. Too bad it gets wrecked by heat spamming tryhards. First you train everyone with repairs. Once it reaches 100% drop for 6th sense and safe stowage, snapshot and clutch braking and put repairs again. Once at 100% drop for brothers in arms and repairs with the same previous shit and put repairs again. Then do whatever the fuck floats your boat. Now you know how to play the E100. Now go fuck up some bitches. Thank you for watching this video you pub shitter. If you want to learn how to stat pad your win 8 click the video on the left. If you enjoy totally balanced tactical gameplay click the video on the right. Now click that subscribe button you lazy fuck and leave a like. Leave a comment about how shit picks paxes. Don't forget to subscribe to the person who helped.